Welcome back. Uh, I hope you got a chance to watch my uh, video on DAISY video settings and configuration. Uh, but on this video we're going to look at what I believe to be uh, some good keyboard uh, assignments. So if you go to um, configure, controls, assignments, the first section you want to head to is infantry movement which is the default go ahead and set these to what you'd like to have Matt. Um, one of the things I have found very important to disable is walk or run toggle. So in order to um, delete that, I think by default it was uh, two times left shift, but I did two times right shift. But what you do is you click this and then delete. Now you don't have an assigned key for that value. So walk or run toggle, you want to keep that off. Um, that can really screw you up, especially if you're using left shift to, you know, walk really slow or crouch trying to sneak up behind a zombie or something, and then you accidentally do it twice, and now you can't run, and you don't know why. <laughs> but anyways, um, prone, I think I changed go prone to prone. Um, so if you want to try that, go for it. And then, let's see, next would be view. So, um, by default I believe free look is nothing and free head move is left control. So I deleted this because I think that only affects you in first person. So if you're using third person you're going to want to do the free look. I did my mouse button four. You could change it to left control which would be a viable substitute or any key you really want to but this will allow you to look around your character without your character moving which can be pretty important if you think there's a player nearby you don't want your character moving around on the ground especially if he's prone because it makes you very visible you want to be able to stay stationary and look so that was an important part of view then um, inventory let me see here did I do anything in here no it was uh, interact <clears throat> Um, if you wanted just a little bit of a bonus that they added in the game, it's the taunt function. Uh, currently, uh, it's F2 is surrender by default, I believe. But I deleted that because I never plan on surrendering. Uh, if somebody corners me, I'm going to go down with a fight. Sit down. I don't ever want to sit down. <laughs> so I got rid of that as well. And I changed my taunt to F2 and diary to F3. Uh, so... I believe those will help you out because if you don't remember what your sit down key is and you sit down, uh, it could really screw you up. So let's see what else. Helicopter movement. You want to make sure you uh, go ahead and set these controls up to however you plan on flying the chopper. Uh, just go over the controls really quickly. Um, cyclic forward is going to be uh, your nose down, nose up. Uh, I think that's bank to the left and bank to the right. And then um, collective raise and lower. This is your ascend and descend. So I did uh, W and Z right there. Actually, I, I wanted that to be S. So what I'm going to do is um, change this to S because that's what I use when I'm flying a chopper in Battlefield. Um, auto hover, uh, that's a pretty important function. I'm assuming, I haven't had the chance to fly a chopper yet, but I'm assuming you can use the mouse wheel for auto hover on and off if it's anything like the uh, DayZ mod, but otherwise you want to take note of what this control is and set it to whatever you're comfortable with. And uh, let's see here. Ah uh, yes, make sure your push to talk key, you know what it is and it's set appropriately uh, to whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I would recommend getting rid of this so that you're not broadcasting uh, on accident in direct chat and give away your position. Um, there's no longer a global or side channel so you don't have to worry about that. And um, I believe that should be it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. 
uh, please throw me a like and subscribe for more videos and feel free to uh, put in the comments if you'd like to see any other videos. Alright, thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.